I'm Jen Allen. Thanks for joining me today for this advanced Pilates flow class. We will take a lot of Pilates moves and flow them together in combinations or sequences. That will make the workout just a little more challenging. Work at your own pace. Always modify a move if it doesn't feel right to you or your body. But also find those challenges today. Take your moves to a bigger, deeper concentration of the focus and use the principles of Pilates of concentration, centering, control, moving with fluidity and smoothness, precision and detail. We won't be doing a lot of repetitions, so I make each move count and then use your breathing. I want to let you know that I've organized my fitness channel with playlists. So because there's over 100 videos now on the channel, you can now go into the playlist and find the videos grouped together by category. So if you're looking for something specific, you can find it in playlists. Thanks for your support. We'll go ahead and get started. Feet are hip distance apart. Recognize your center. So hip bone, hip bone to pubic bone and pull everything in. So engage it. Bring your arms down, lengthen your neck, relax your neck and pull your shoulders back. Take a deep breath and lift up and bring your hands to your heart. Sit down. Now just stand up. Keep your hands at your heart and warm your legs. Warm your legs. This time go down and sit into the chair. Lift your right heel, then your left heel. And then lift up, find your balance, bring your arms to your side, lift both heels. Bring your hands to your heart. Sit down, lift your left heel, and then your right. And then stand up, arms to side, find balance, engage the center, lift both heels. You want to just pop those out of control. Then lift your right heel again, and then your left. Stand up, arms to side, engage center, moving each move with intention. So with that control, sit down, and left, and then right. Stand up, arms to side, and lift heels. We'll start the standing work first today, and we'll use the mat in a little while. So make sure you've got a little bit of floor space. Bring your elbows to your thighs, and then stand up, arms to side. So this contraction is a lot deeper. In order to get those elbows clear to the thighs, you've got to contract abdominals just like a sit-up. Now this next one, bring your elbows to your thighs, hold. Touch the floor with your fingertips. Bring it back into your thighs and stand up. Find that flow again, elbows to thighs. Touch floor, elbows to thighs, stand up. Elbows to thighs, touch floor. Elbows to thighs, stand up, let's make a change. Elbows to thighs, touch floor. Take the right hand, reach it all the way up to the ceiling, rotating the body and shifting the legs and the hips. Come back down. Take the other hand, reach up with a twist, shift the hip and the legs and come back down. Bring the elbows to the thighs, deep contraction, stand back up. Elbows to thighs, touch the floor. Left hand rotates you out, lotus the change in your hips and legs. Bring your hand back down. Go to the right side, lift, rotate, open. Bring it back down, put those elbows to your thighs, engage, stand back up. Good. From here, bring your hands to your heart and open up your toes. Wide plie. Two little presses in the middle. Go to the right corner, feet together, lift your left heel and two little squats. Open center, two squats. Go to the left corner, pop the right heel, two squats. So that's a narrow asymmetrical squat. Two wide squats, right corner, left heel. Two wide squats, left corner, pop right heel. We're gonna go a little bigger, but single squat now. Down, go to the right. Don't forget the squat at the corner. So go down deep to the legs. One more time each way. Last one. Come back to that middle wide position. Lengthen your legs, bring your arms clear up above your head, pull your shoulders down, tummy in. Open a plie squat, arms wide. And lift up. And open wide. And lift up. And open again. And lift up. And open again. Little change. As you open, stay open, moving just your right arm and leg over into a lunge, arm goes overhead, open to the plie squat, lift up. Flow again, open, over the top to lunge, open, 
and flow up. And open, and over, and open, and up one more time. Open, and over. Now before we do the other side, little change. Open, go over to the lunge. Open, but now move the right leg behind into a curtsy. Bring your arms to a diagonal, come back to the open. Over the top to the lunge. Open, curtsy. Trying to flow now through this without much of a stop, but still very smooth, cross. Notice how much better you get the more you do it. One more time. Open, cross, look up, center, reach up. Pull down, turn the left leg in, arm goes over the top, and open back up, going to the other side now. Lift up, open, left arm turns in, arm goes over the top, and open. And bring it up, and open, over the top, open and lift up. Little change, open, go over the top, back to open, cross now the left leg behind, arms go to diagonal, look up, back to open, over the top to lunge, open, cross curtsy, look up, open, two more times, cross, open, one more time. Cross, center. Hold right there, bring your arms up, bring your arms in, down, bring your feet close together. Turn your toes in, lift your right heel up. Bring your hands to your chest in blade position facing in, so not part, but just bladed strong. Now step out to that right leg, side loaded lunge, put all the weight into the right leg, and step in, tap the toe. Take that again. So right now I'm having you come in and touch your toe pretty close. I'm gonna change that this time. When you touch your toe, it's out wide. Do it again. Try not to fall with momentum, but feel each position. Good. On the next one, take the left arm and touch towards the floor on the right foot. Come back up, touch that toe. Reach down low. Come up, touch that toe. Woo, don't overshoot like I just did. Good, one more. And find that balance as you touch your toe, hold. Now take both arms, reach up, and take that right leg lift up, kick, and come back down. Side kick, reach up, come back down. Side kick, reach up, come back down. One more time. Let's put the sequence together. Slow lunge, reach across, come up, touch your toe, Engage, reach up, and down. Reach across, up, touch toe, engage tummy lift, and down. One more time. Into center, engage, reach up, and come down, bring your feet and arms down. Lift your left heel, hands to blades, come right into chest. Start with the loaded lunge to your left, and step all the way back in touch, again. Now a little more precision, when you come in to touch, your legs extended to the side, you touch your toe. Pull down, touch your toe. Good, again. Now start to reach the right arm down across towards your foot to the floor, touch your toe. And again, try not to overshoot in the center, be right there, and again. Stay right there, find balance, lift your toe into a side kick, reach your arms, and come back down. You will definitely have to shift into your right leg, but try not to lean too far. Two more. One more time. Now put them together. Reach across, loaded lunge. Touch your toe, hold. Lift up, kick, and down. So again, moving with deep intention. Think of each move. Make it count. Down. One more time. Relax your arms and legs. Pull your mat out. And once you've got your mat in place where you've got some room around it, come to one end of your mat. Take it into a wide position. Turn your toes slightly out comfortably. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, fold forward, bending your knees a whole bunch. Touch the floor. Inchworm your walking hands forward until you get to your plank with your feet wide and lift your chin, shoulders down, brace the belly, push your pelvis forward. Walk your hands back in, bend your knees a whole bunch, and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Deep breath in, 
Exhale, fold forward, bend your knees. Walk that inchworm forward, push your pelvis through, get all the way to the end of your plank, engage brace, and walk back in. Soft knees, roll all the way up. Take a deep breath in, let's make a little change on this one. Come down forward, fold, bend knees. Walk all the way out to the end of your plank, brace the belly, lift the head, push the pelvis. Walk just about halfway in and stay on those tippy toes, lifting your heels. Turn your fingertips inward, head is down. Bend your elbows, let your head come to the tip of your fingers and push away. Keep your weight forward, your heels up, and you'll do two more of these inverted V push-ups. Take it one more time. So the push-up is for shoulders and lats. Now walk your hands back into your feet, bend your knees, roll all the way up one bone at a time. One more time like that, deep breath in. Exhale, fold forward, bend your knees. Walk your hands all the way to the front end of your mat. Push your pelvis through, pull your shoulders down, brace belly. Walk about halfway in, keep it up on your toes. Turn your fingertips in, drop your head. Now bend your elbows for the head to touch your fingers and push away. Take it again, down, stay on those toes, weight forward, down again. And one more time. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Bend your knees a whole bunch. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. As you come up, bring your feet now close together and anchor them on the mat. Deep breath in. Exhale forward, fold in a narrow position, bending your knees. Walk out to your plank position, your normal plank, with your pelvis pushing forward, your shoulders down, your head up. Engage your belly, walk in, bend your knees. Roll up one bone at a time. Take it again, deep breath in. Exhale, fold forward, bend your knees. Walk out to that regular plank position with the feet close together, hands under shoulders, head up, and walk back in. We'll make a change on the next one. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. Deep breath in. Exhale, fold forward. Walk your hands forward into your plank. Once you find your plank, hold. Take your right foot, step forward, left foot forward, right foot back, left foot back, right hand touches shoulder, left hand touches shoulder. Left foot steps forward, right foot, left foot back, this time left hand crosses shoulder. We'll do it again one time on each side. Right foot steps forward, right foot steps back, back. Right hand touches across, left hand touches across. One more time, left foot in, in, back, back. Left hand cross, right hand cross. Bring your knees to the mat and take a quick little break as you pull back. Relax your wrist, shake it off. So we're gonna go into some upper body plank work now for the upper body core. Bring your hands down to the mat, bring them under your shoulders. This is where as we do this upper body work, if you would like to do some of this plank work on your knees, that is a great option or bring it up to your toes in full plank position. Bring your right knee forward to your chest and that's your starting point. Think of making a square. Take your right knee to your right elbow and as you drop it down towards the wrist, adjust the body weight. Take it over to the left wrist, up to the left elbow in a square. You're gonna do that one more time. Open to elbow, right wrist, left wrist, left elbow, center step back, drop knees, relax. Come up onto hands and knees, same thing on the other side. So if you're gonna do this on your knees, you're obviously gonna move one leg and the other one will be on its knees. Or come up to your feet, bring your left knee to your chest. Think of making a square. Left elbow, down to left wrist, over to right wrist, up to right elbow. One more time. Left, don't do a lot of reps, down to the wrist, over to the right wrist, up to right elbow. Center, step back, drop knees, pull back. Come up onto hands and knees. Again, decide if you want to be on your knee plank or your feet plank, step back into it. Center your shoulders, lift your head, brace your belly and keep your hips down. Bring your right knee into your chest. Swing it open to the right side. Back under to the chest, step back, change legs. Left knee under, swing open to the side. 
Center, step back one more each side. Right knee, open swing. Center, step back. Left knee forward, open swing out. Back to center, step back, drop knees, relax. Hands under shoulders, head up. Shoulders pull back, the head winds up. Tuck the toes, decide if you're wanting on your knees or your feet, pull into your plank. This time, the right knee comes around to the right side of the elbow in a Spider-Man crawl. From there, just touch the floor. Lift back up to the elbow, step back, and now before you just drop, pull your hips back into a pike squat, and come back forward to plank. Left knee to the left elbow. Just take that knee and drop it down. Touch the floor, pull it back up, step back, pike and squat. Come forward. Right knee to elbow, make sure the head is lifted, and touch the floor with the knee, lift it back up, step back, hike squat. It's amazing how many core muscles are engaged on those moves. Take it forward, last one. Left elbow, touch floor, lift the elbow, or lift to the elbow, step back, hike squat, forward, lower the knees, and sit back to rest. Lift your head above your heart. Come up to a kneeling position and bring your hands into your heart. Step forward with your right foot so you're only on one knee. And step quite a bit forward. With the hands to your heart, we're going into a hip flexor stretch, which typically has hands on floor. A little bit more core work with hands up. Shift your body weight forward to stretch this hip flexor. Step back. Shift forward again. And shift back. Next time, open the arms to the side. Pull back. Do that one more time. Pull back. Now take that back foot, your left foot, and tuck the toes. Think about standing up. You don't just pop up. In tension. Tummy in. Foot presses. Foot presses. Stand up. Then lower yourself carefully with full control as you come down against gravity. Do that again. Push into your feet. Pull into your tummy to lift your body weight up. And come back down. Take this one more time. Engage, lift up. So everything very well thought out, intentional. Come back down. Let's put these moves together. Take the knee, hinge forward, open the arms. Come back, tuck the toe, engage the tummy, lift up. Three more times. Forward shift, arms open, hands to heart, engage, lift up. Come down. Shift forward, open arms. Back to center, engage, lift up. We're going for one more here, shift forward, open arms. Shift back, hands to heart, engage, lift up. And down, that's a lot of work. Right there on the glutes, good into quadricep, lots of core. Change legs, place the other foot forward, hands come to heart. Shift your body weight forward, pull back. Shift forward. Pull back. This time open the arms as you shift forward. Pull back, hands to heart. Take that again. Come back, hands to heart. Now tuck the back foot, abs in, push down with the front foot, stand up. And lower yourself back down. Take it again, push and lift. Come back down, we'll do that one more time. Engage feet to floor, abs in tight, engage to lift. And come back down. Let's put this all together. Shift forward, arms out. Come back in, engage, lift up. Two more times. Shift forward, arms out. Hands to heart, engage, lift up. Lower. Two more. Shift forward, arms out. Hands to heart, engage, lift. Last one, shift forward. Hands to heart, engage. Lift up. Come back down. Bring your hands to the floor. Shift your leg back. And sit back into your rest. Things like that can be very challenging and sometimes even discouraging, but it is so important to keep independence as we age to be able to get ourselves up and down off the ground. When we train it safely, we're less likely to injure ourselves. 
Coming now into another upper body sequence. Going into an elbow plank. Some people refer to it as modified plank. Modified to me sounds like it's going to be easier. It's not. You're close to gravity. You're on your elbows. It's a whole different set of muscles that work and train, such as your triceps. So I call it a different kind of heart. Bring your elbows down to the mat. Bring your knees in. Tuck your toes. And go into quadruple position by lifting your knees and engaging the low tummy. From here, just take your right foot off the floor and pull your knee closer. We call that Shiva squat, so it's very deep contraction. Take that right leg high and extend your left leg long, big stretch. Head is on your hands. Bring it into a Shiva squat. Kick up. So my head's going to go down to keep my neck in alignment. As it comes down and in, my head will come up a little. Two more. Push back. Pull in. And one more time, big extension, head goes down, pull in, set the knee down, reset, pull back. Place your elbows to mat, lift your hips, tuck your toes, engage the low tummy, lift your knees. Take the left knee, pull it in close into a Shiva squat. Now extend that left leg high, right leg long, and let your head come down. Pull into a Shiva squat, three more. Engage, lift up. Pull in. Engage to lift. Shiva squat in, one more time. Engage, lift. Pull in, knees down, relax, pull back. Bring your head above your heart. While you're in a side plank position, we're we'll gonna be working into what are called goal post arms. So when I say goal post arms, that's your position. Come with your elbows down on your mat. Walk your feet out or your knees out. So again, you could do this on the knees or feet. Turn now to your right side. Open your right elbow and make a goal post with your arms. Reach over your head, not to the ceiling reach. Notice the underside waistline. Goal post the arm, elbow down. Lift your left elbow. Bring it up to a goal post. Reach over your head, notice the side oblique. Goal post, and come back down. One more on each side. Lift your right elbow, goal post the arm. Reach over your head, goal post, come back down. Last time, left elbow up, goal post the arm. Reach over your head, bring it back in, and come back down. Bring your knees down, sit back, and give it a little rest. Bring your head above your heart. Two different parts to this next sequence. Bring your elbows down to your mat. Walk your feet back. Lower the pelvis. You can also do this on your knees. And have to modify a few things. Now as you lift your hips up, we call this a dolphin. Engage your tummy, pull your hips up, and your head will drop a little. Then as you come down, aim the right hip bone towards the mat. Lift your hips in the middle, drop your head. And when your hip bone comes down, lift your head and drop the left hip bone. One more each side, lift up through the middle, head down. Right hip bone comes towards the mat. Pull the hips in the air into the dolphin. Left hip bone down, little change. Center the pelvis dolphin in the middle. But now pull your pelvis back down through the center. Bend your knees just a little bit, barely to touch the floor, and come back up. Lift your hips, pull up. Lower the pelvis. Bend your knees, rocking onto your feet, and back out. Two more. Lift the hips into dolphin. Lower the pelvis. Knees. Again, notice the head change. Hips go up, the head's going to go down to stay in alignment. Hips go forward, head's going to go forward. Bend your knees. Straighten the legs. Take a break. So nice, good deep breaths here. We'll do one more sequence using the elbow plank position. Bring your elbows to the mat. If you need to be on your knees, you're going to stay on your left knee so your right leg can extend. If you're going to go to your feet, go to both feet, but come to your position. Keeping the right foot flexed, lift the 
foot slightly off the floor and bend your knee into a hamstring curl. Push the heel higher, lower, just barely touch those toes and do the same side again. Hamstring, lift, down, touch toes. Two more. Pay attention to your head, back of the neck. Careful not to drop the head too low or lift it too high. One more time. Lift up, down, touch toes. Take a quick little break before we do the other side. Bring the elbows to mat, head forward. If you're gonna keep a knee down, keep the right knee down. If not, go to both toes. Take that left foot slightly off, bend your knee hamstring curl. Squeeze, lift higher, lower, touch the toes. Pull into the hamstring, lift higher. We'll do four repetitions, never more than that on this class. In, up, in, down, one more. Notice those triceps and the arms working for you. Pull in and rest. Lift your head above your heart as we move on. Going down into a side hip position. I don't really care which side you start with, but listen to the setup. The bottom arm needs to be close underneath your shoulder and your ear. Don't let it get too far out from you. You'll be lifting your hips. Your top knee opens and set it on its foot. Bottom leg that's tucked under, reach out, and forward lengthening. Top hand behind head. If you've got all that, push down with your hand and lift your hip up. And lower it. Three more of those, lift. And lower. Two more of those, lift. Lower, one more of those. I'm gonna make one little change. As you come down, reach that top arm over your leg, and then reach up and over the top, making the move bigger, and back over. Three more. Two more. One more. Little change on the next one as you come down, bring the hand back behind your head. Lift your hips, focus on the leg that's extended in front of you, bend that knee, pull it to your elbow. Lengthen it, lower the hip. Push and lift the hip. Front leg, elbow to knee. Lengthen, two more times. Push and lift, elbow to knee. Lengthen, lower, last one. Push and lift, elbow to knee contract, good internal oblique, external oblique, hip and lower, as well as arm. Swing your legs around to the other side. Bring your hand underneath your shoulder. Again, if you get it too far away, it will be hard to lift up. Top leg, open the knee, place it on its foot. Bottom leg extends forward long. Hand goes behind head. Those details are so important with a nice posture lift. Lift your hip and lower. Push and lift hip and lower. Two more, lift, lower. So a nice progression into the next set. Bring your hand over that knee that's bent and lift up and over, making this move so much bigger and back over. Three more. Two more. One more. As you come down, place that hand back behind the head, lift the hip. Look down at that front leg, pull that knee into your elbow. Lengthen it, lower the hip. Push and lift hip, elbow to knee. Lengthen, lower. Push and lift hip, elbow to knee. Lengthen and lower, one more time. Push, lift hip, elbow to knee. Lengthen, lower, good, and sit up. Moving into the next sequence, you take your right leg in front of you and your left leg behind you in a take a bow position. Line your shoulders and your hip joints up, facing forward, and then place your right hand down. Take your left hand up above your head. So your right hand is to the side of your right hip. Left arm is up, shoulders and hip bones are lined up and your body is posture lifted. Back hip bone rotates forward and back. So we're just loosening the joint, forward and back. Push forward and back, one more. 
Little change. Lean into your right hand, lift your left knee, keep your right left hand up and lower. Shift, lift. Big reach. Shift, lift. Pulling one more time. Into that right hand, lift the left knee. Little change. As you shift and lift the knee, pull that left hand right down strong and look towards the left. Come back up. Every detail. Look towards the left strong. And notice when you bring your hand down, you get a little bit more contraction in the waistline. Take this one more time. Now the last move starts the same, or the second to last move. Pull up, kick the leg to the side, extend, bend, drop the knee, lift up. Three more of those. Extend, bend, lift up. Pull, lengthen, in, one more, pull, lengthen. Now a little change on this next one. This time lift up, hold. Swing this top leg forward to straight, back to bend. Keep your arm right where it is on the side, keep your body over on the right arm, and pull back. Shift kick forward, shift bend back. One more time, lengthen forward kick, back bend kick, bring it back to center, bring the arms down, change sides. Left leg in front, right leg behind. Left hand to the side of the hip, right hand up. Posture, and then take that back hip bone, right hip bone. Forward, shift back. Open to close. Two more. And close, one more time. Now shift into that left hand, just lift the knee, keep your right hand up. And lower, take it again. Push and lift, and lower. Push to lift, and lower. One more. Next time, bring that hand down towards the leg, turn your head, look at it. Come back up. Precision, detail. Fluidity and flow. Control, concentration, centering. Breathe. On the next one, bring the leg up, hand down, hold, extend your leg to a side kick, bend it, Lift up, pull, extend, in, up, two more, one more time, good, last exercise, pull hip up, hold, swing this top leg forward, straight, back to bed, keep your arm right over the hip, swing to kick forward, bend to kick back. Swing to kick forward, bend to back one more time. Lots of really good hip socket movement here. Mobility, lift up, and bring your legs close together in a seated position. Place your hands behind the back. Depending on your injuries of shoulders or your strength or flexibility, you may have to turn your fingertips depending on your own shoulders. As you push back, feel the arms engage, so the back of your arms. Open your chest for posture, soften your elbows. Bend your knees and put your feet on your toes, and then squeeze your knees together like they have a ball between them. So again, you've got a little bit of a lift through the chest. Let your knees drop to the right, you touch your toes. Then your left, touch your toes, stay on the right, and do a quick kick up, down. Now left, then right, then left, and a quick kick up, down. Go right, left, right, up, down, last time. Left, right, left, kick, up, down. Good, sit up. Place your feet in front of you, interlock your hands together. When I say find your center, pull your belly button and you pull it right into your backbone. So you almost don't even see it, but you feel it. Now lean back into your C curve and tailbone comes under. And then really go to where you're challenged. Opening the chest even though your hands are forward. Let your hands slice down to the right, to the left, go back to the right, and kick your right leg up, down. So left, right, left, left leg up, down. Right, left, right, up, down. Last time, go left, right, left, up, down, sit up. 
Keep your feet in front of you. Engage your belly button into your back. Feel the C curve. Open your chest, roll the shoulders back, and come back to where you feel challenged. Once you're challenged, tuck the tailbone under and really hollow out the abdominals. Reach forward, palms down. Feet light, relax the thighs, and pump the hands, keeping the chin a little bit upward. So belly button is engaged, and you're feeling this in your tummy. While you're pumping the hundreds, lift your right foot. Take that right foot down, and lift your left foot. Breathe, take your foot down. This time, lift your right foot, and take it down. This time, lift your left foot. A little more challenge. This time, both feet. Squeeze your knees together like a ball between the legs. Let them come down. Lift your feet, squeeze. Touch down. Two more times. Engage, lift. Touch down. One more time. Engage, lift. Touch down, sit up. Open up the chest, open up the abdominals. Keep your feet forward. Find your belly button, pull it in. Go down to where you're challenged. And then place your hands at your heart, pulling your shoulders back. Twist to the right. Lift your right knee. Take it down. And center. Start with the leg first, lift the left knee. Then twist to the outside of the knee. Come back to center and down. Lift your leg first, right side. Then bring that elbow right across the outside of the knee. Center and down. Left leg goes up. Twist the elbow to the outside of the knee. Come back to the center. Foot down. Sit up. This time extend your legs forward. Hands to heart. So a straight legged C curve. Belly button, button pulling in, lower back, and then find the challenge. From here, lift your right leg up straight, twist towards it, come back to center, lower your leg, lift your left leg up, turn, center, down, right leg again comes up, rotate to the right, twist, center, down, last one. Lift, twist, center, down, sit up. Keep your legs in front of you. Great job today. This is where those abs are really going to start working. Take the hands above your head, shoulders down, feel your back muscles feet in front of you. C curve as you reach forward. Then take your right hand and open it as far to the sit right as you can, twist. Come back to center, arms up. Reach forward, engage your C curve. Left hand rotates you, open as far as you can. Come back to center, lift up. Take it again, reach forward. Right arm, side as far as you can. Come back to center, lift up. One more like this. Left hand opens all the way to the side. Come back to center, lift up, little change. Open your arms to the side as you see curve back. Keep your arms open as you twist to the right. As you twist back to center, arms are still open. Come up over your head. Open arms, see curve. Go to your left twist. Arms are still open. Come back to center. Lift up the middle. One more each side. Open. See curve twist. Center. Arms stay open. Lift up. Last time. Open the arms. Twist to the left. Arms are still open. Come back to center, lift up. Release your arms and relax. If you need to open your knees, just relax your hip flexors and shake it off. Sit your body up and bring your feet to the floor. Find that C curve in your belly button, pulling it into your back, tailbone under, come back to where you're challenged. Open your chest, but reach forward. Take the right elbow and pull it back into a bow and arrow and center, and now your left one and center, and right, and center, and left. Little change, as you pull your right elbow back, lift your right knee, and as you pull your left elbow back, lift your left knee. Take your right, and take your left. On this next one, leave your feet down, pull the bow and arrow right, but touch the floor with the elbow. Come back up. Pull with your left, but touch the elbow to the floor. Come back up, do that again. Pull the right elbow, bow and arrow, touch the floor. 
that's where things get a little different. That's very challenging. On this next one, right elbow touch floor, left leg kicks up and down, come up. Left elbow, right leg kicks up, down, come up. Right elbow, left leg, come up. Last time, left elbow, right leg. And come up. Bring your arms around your legs. Round. Open the knees. Round. Lengthen the chin forward. And sit up. Bring your feet forward. Okay. Place your hands at your heart. Engage your belly button. And lean back. Take your right knee. Pull it to your chest. Good. Now kick it forward, now pull it in, and put your foot down. Now take your left foot up, contract, lengthen the kick forward, pull in, set it down. Now reach forward and do the same move with a little more contraction with the chest coming to the knee. Kick forward, open, knee to chest, set it down. Left side, knee to chest, open it up, knee to chest. Now both feet at the same time. Knees to chest, open it up. Knees to chest, feet down one more time. Knees to chest, open it up. Knees to chest, lower down. Sit up and open the knees. Good. Scooting yourself a little forward on your mat, you will be rolling backwards. Bring your feet together like you have a little ball in your knees, reach forward. Find your seat curve, tailbone under, lift your feet. With the hands forward, roll back onto your back, bring your hands down, lift your hips, your feet to the ceiling, pull in, find your boat position and hold still. Hands come down, don't go to your neck, engage, lift hips, and balance. Two more, hands down, lift hips, in, balance, last one, come down, lift hips in balance. Go ahead and lie all the way down to your back. We're going to finish some series of five work, variations for sure, and then finish with a one-legged teaser. So our variation, place your hands behind the back of your head. Bring your legs up to tabletop and push the feet slightly forward so your knees line up with your hip bones. Then your low tummy pulls down into your back to support. Hands lift the head. But it's not about the head lifting, it's about the shoulders. So there's a difference between pulling my head up or lifting my shoulders up using the abdominals and relaxing the neck. That's much better. Take your right toe touch floor and lift it up. Take your left toe touch floor. Little change. As the right toe touches the floor, kick that right leg forward just barely off the floor. Touch the toe. Lift it up while the head is lifted. Left toe. Kick forward, hover, touch the toe, bring it back up. Let those shoulders do it again. Right toe, extend, right toe, come up, left toe. This is just a little variation of what we are going into next, which is the double leg stretch. Bring your hands to your side, lift your chest, drop the chin, touch both toes. Now extend the arms over your head, lengthen your legs, double leg stretch, circle in, hands at side. Touch your toes, lift up, double leg stretch, open, close, pull in. Touch your toes, lift up, reach and lengthen, pull in, last time. Touch toes, lift up, reach and lengthen, pull in, bring your knees to your chest, lower your head. So a lot of the moves before that led you to that move. We did some seated ones that were familiar. We did a one leg open, close. Then we were right into that double leg stretch, which is that first move of series of five. Second move of series of five, single leg stretch, hands go behind the head. Remember, it's not about lifting the head, it's about lifting the shoulders. Extend the left leg forward, point your toes and right knee into chest. Again, this isn't about the legs, it's about the chest contracting the belly. Switch legs, switch legs, switch again, try to relax your neck, but lift the chest. Now flex your feet, and again, and flex two more times, 
And as you come in, right knee at the chest, stay there. Flex feet, lower shoulders. Engage, lift shoulders, switch legs. Lower shoulders, lift shoulders, switch legs. Lower shoulders, lift shoulders, switch feet. One more time, shoulders, lift, switch. Bring your knees in, relax your head down. Number three. Single straight leg stretch usually looks like a scissor move. Take your hands behind the head. Lift the shoulders up, not just the head, the shoulders. Extend your right leg high, your left leg long, don't touch the floor. Scissor with your feet and legs extended, scissor again. Try to feel the back of your knees as you extend your legs. And again, listen for a change. Two scissors, one more, then one helicopter around the side. Two scissors, shoulders are still up. Here's your second one, helicopter around the side. Two scissors, one helicopter. Last time, two scissors, one helicopter. Pull the knees to chest, relax the shoulders down. Moving into number four, double straight leg stretch, usually the one where the legs go down and up towards the floor. Bring your hands behind your head. Keep your head and neck relaxed and lift from your shoulders. Extend both legs high. Open out to a V. Close. Push your right leg forward only and come back up. Open to the V. Close. Push your left leg forward by itself. Come back up. Open. Straddle. Close. Both feet, doesn't matter how low they go, keep the ribs in. Lift back up. Open the straddle, lift, both feet forward, engage, and pull back up, bend the knees, relax your head. Place your feet against the floor for the crisscross. Place your hands behind the back of your head. Lift your right knee and bring your left elbow into it. Kick that same leg high, bring it back in and down. Left knee to, le uh, left knee to right elbow. Kick the leg high, in and down, little change. Right knee, left elbow, as you kick, lengthen your arm across the leg, elbow to knee, come down. Left knee, right elbow, reach across as you extend. Pull in and down, little change. Right knee, left elbow, instead of kicking up, kick forward, don't change your torso, bring it back into the knee and open. Left knee, right elbow. Kick forward, don't change your torso. Pull in and open. Right, kick, listen for the change. As you open, bridge the hips up all the way, squeeze your knees together, pull down. Left knee, right elbow, kick forward, pull in, bring your feet to the floor, lift the hips high as you can, squeeze the knees, pull back down. Now right knee to elbow, put it right back down, bridge the hips up, squeeze knees and down. Left knee, right elbow, feet down, bridge hips up, squeeze knees and down. Last set of right knee, left elbow, come down, push up, squeeze and lower, left knee, right elbow, down, push, lift, squeeze and lower. Reach your arms above your head. Last move of the day. Take the right leg and extend it to a diagonal knee to knee. So imagine that little small ball right between your thighs or knees together and keep that together. Coming up quickly with your hands, reaching towards that leg, come up onto your tailbone, push that left foot a little more forward so you can come up. Now switch legs, don't reach up, lower down with your low back and then reach up, squeeze the knees together. Come up, reach towards the leg. Switch legs, lower with your back first, and then your arms. Come up, reach towards that leg, keep your knees together. Switch legs, squeeze the knees, lower back, and then arms, last time. Come up, reach for the foot, switch legs, squeeze knees, lower with the back, arms overhead, bend the knees. Pull both knees to your chest, Coming up to a full teaser or boat position from the hands above your head. Come up, reach, lift, 
go into your low back and then over your head. Come up with both legs. Lower into your low back and then reach overhead. Two more and you're done. Come up, reach towards those feet, extend. Come down with your low back first and open. And last time, big lift, reach. Into your low back and reach. Lengthen both arms and legs, flex your feet. And you're all done. Let's do a couple stretches here. Open your arms, bring your knees to your chest. Knees go to the right side, open your chest. I hope you felt challenged today in new, new ways. This is a class where none of those moves have ever been done before in any of my classes. So very unique. Bring this bottom hand to your top foot. And pull it back through the quadriceps stretch. So that front leg. Then extend your foot up, opening up that hip socket. Let the leg come more forward, bring this bottom hand under it, and open the top arm back out. Bring your knees up and over to the other side, opening the arms, and feeling the stretch of the hip and the spine. Remember to check out my fitness channel, subscribe to it, go to the playlist and check out all the different videos that are there now that they're put together by category. Now grab for that top leg, pull it back, stretch that hip flexor and quadricep. Extend that leg high, opening up the hip. And then let that top leg come forward. Take the bottom hand, grab it, open the top arm. And as you release your leg, come up into a seated position. Open the knees, release the back and the forehead forward. Push the chin forward, lift. Sit up, pull the shoulders down, and take your right ear to your right shoulder, feeling the left shoulder pull down. Lift up and over to the left. And bring the head right back up. Feet to floor. Shift the weight forward, lift the hips. Shake the tension out of your neck. Bend your knees and swing the right arm up into a twist. Bring it back down. Take the left arm to a twist. Shift the hips and the legs. Come back down. Now take both hands on your elbows. Pull your belly button up and in and let your head fall. Roll up one vertebrae at a time and as you come to the top, take your hands above your head with a side bend to the right. Circle forward around to the left and up. Now just reverse that stretch to the left. Keep your knees a little bent. Feel the stretch along the way. Come around to the right. Lift up. Open those arms. Open the chest. Take a big deep breath in. Reach up. Big exhale. Take it one more time. And exhale. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Come back and see me again soon.